why this lesser curvature you know it could have gone in a circular way but it actually gets a little j shaped structure what's the reason here the reason is that here there was a prominent artery a major branch of abdominal artery and that is the celiac duct because of celiac trunk being placed here along the lesser curvature this couldn't further go more in circular that's why it becomes a j shaped curve remember this lesser curvature of the stomach makes it a j shaped arc and the j shaped is because of the indentation formed because of the celiac trunk there other organs if you know which are j shaped structures can you tell me now the lacrimal gland has a major superficial and a deeper portion which is a smaller portion and that j shaped structure is indented by a muscle which muscle is that lbs yes the lacrimalis indents this lacrimal gland right another gland which is j shaped submandibular submandibular gland is also j shaped gland having a major superficial portion bigger portion and a deeper portion is less in size and there is a muscle here indenting in between which muscle indents this submandibular salivary gland indents this j in the submandibular salivary gland that muscle actually forms the diaphragm of the jaw submandibular region you have a hyoid here hyoid. from hyoid till the mandible there is a diaphragm like muscle and that muscle is mylohyoid mylohyoid so mylohyoid forms an indent there okay. another thing which is mentioned as j shaped is the male urethra in an erect condition the reason is the male urethra initially is a membranous portion that has to perforate through the urogenital membrane and then in the superficial perineal pouch then through the corpora spongiosum then it becomes vertical vertical sorry not vertical not but it is elongated straight so there is a indent and that indent there is big formed by the urogenital membrane through which it is piercing and passing out got it so you have revised at least four j shaped structures